In April of 1992, Prince Oyo was born. His father was King Patrick David Matthew Koboyo Olimit III, the reigning monarch of the Kingdom of Toro in western Uganda. Upon his father's untimely death, King Oyo ascended to the throne at the age of just three years old, making him the youngest reigning monarch in world history. Due to his young age, his mother, Queen Peske Megisa, led a regency council to rule on his behalf until he came of age, with the help of his aunt Princess Elizabeth Bagaya. King Oyo pursued his studies both in Uganda and abroad, and when he turned 18 years old, he assumed full control of the kingdom. I know the task has not been easy for you, especially as a single parent, but you've done very, very, very well. Thank you very much, Mama. With his title as Rukira Basaja Omukama Oyonimba Kabamba Iguru Rukidi IV, he became sole regent. He committed himself to modernizing and developing the Toro Kingdom while preserving its cultural heritage. He took initiatives aimed at promoting education, healthcare, and economic development in the region. The Libyan President Muammar Gaddafi was intrigued by news of the child king, and he was deeply impressed by how the Petoro community held their young leader in high esteem, valuing and cherishing him. As a supporter of Pan-African causes, particularly those involving youth and culture, the Libyan president invited King Oyo to Libya, bringing attention to the young king and his kingdom on an international level. During the meeting, Gaddafi reportedly gifted King Oyo with several camels and pledged to support education and cultural preservation in the Toro kingdom. He visited Toro soon thereafter, with much pomp and ceremony, and he even funded the renovation of the royal palace on the hill, which had been in ruin for decades. The new palace, as well as other development projects attracted tourism to the region and its center, Fort Porto. The rich nature of the region, such as the Ruwenzori, also known as Mountains of the Moon, the Kiboli Forest with its chimpanzee tracking, national parks, hot springs, caves, and crater lakes all made the Toro Kingdom a center of Ugandan tourism. Even though the now deposed Libyan leader has a controversial legacy, he is still remembered by many in the Toro Kingdom for his support of the young king. Today, 27-year-old Oyo is still king, and he has been working with the United Nations to decrease the prevalence of AIDS in the country. He represents the cultural and historical heritage of the Toro people, even going on a fast with his subjects to protest the central government's attempts to divide the kingdom. And through his various diplomatic efforts, he strikes a balance between preserving the rich cultural traditions of the kingdom and promoting its development in the modern era. And thus, the beloved young king has taken his place in history as the world's youngest ever reigning monarch to ascend to the throne. <laughs>